can do all do all three positions. We can even play, you know, just a little embellishment would be great. Yeah, of course. Uh, this is A minor penta uh, that we're going to start off just doing a tenor, full tenor, alto, soprano. So what we do, we start soprano. Uh, we like to get that pick in between downstroke, upstroke. And uh, this works on being nice and relaxed, nimble, so we can be, you know, cross from one octave to another comfortably. So I, I blasted that real quick, and the, the secret is you keep our index and pinky as a system coming through um, all four notes of the A minor 7. You got C, A, G, E. And we want to be able to slingshot it comfortably to our alto octave. And the way that happens is just don't grab the guitar very hard. And also work on, instead of getting like curved or like being diagonal, really work on being parallel with those frets because it'll be very, very uh, apparent to you that when you use your middle finger, all you have to do you get a little bonus there. So you can do these two octaves by keeping your hand all in this neighborhood right here. So it, even if you were uh, you know, playing a rhythm in A minor penta, this would be a nice entrance to your solo. All right, and we go right into like Chuck Berry with a pull off. So that same lick is right here. Pretty rad, pretty interesting. Here's our scale. Here's our first inversion. Now what we do, we're gonna take this, right? And go to the first inversion, but you end up hearing it an octave down. Right, really fun. Pull to the floor, all four fingers, go next door, and then plant. <laughs> Robert Plant. And then also watch this, here's the soprano. And we just load up our pinky on the 5th fret D string. Let's do the same lick. It's really cool to adjust it. You're feeling there. Push up to the sky. Pull down to the floor. It's kind of cool. Just start measuring that. Get your ear acclimated 